Welcome everyone, this is Kevin from CXC Tutor. I'm here with you again with another exam solution from last year's May June 2014 paper 2. This question is question 7 which is a pretty simple statistics and probability question. Let's get started. The question says a class of 30 students counted the number of books in their bags on a certain day. The number of books in each bag is shown below. So here you have a set of data. And below now you have to copy and complete the frequency table for the data shown above. So here they were gracious enough to fill in some of the values for you. So number of books for one you, put, you count in your table you see one appears two times you put in your tally you see that your frequency is two and one times your frequency gives you the number of students with one book in their bag pretty simple so let's fill in this table for three let's count it let's go through the table and see I have one two three for five so five students have three books in their bag so our tally chart should look like this one two three four diagonal stroke so we have in our frequency we will put five and five times three is fifteen all right let's do it for four now Let's go to our table. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four books appear six times. So let's put this in our tally chart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Frequency is six. Six times four is 24. So likewise, we do this for each and every value coming down. I did this before, so I'll just write in the answers. Five appears seven times. That would be 35. Six appears four times. Six times four is 24. And seven appears three times. That is 21. So here we have our table completed. All of the data. Move on to the next question. It says state the modal number of books in the bags of the sample of students. So what does modal mean? Modal simply means the value with the highest frequency. So we look at our table. We see that the largest frequency is 7. And that corresponds to the number 5. So students tend to have 5 books in their bag and if you count the modal. Now we move on to question C. The total number of books. So... The total number of books, let me see, total equals, all right, so there are two totals that we usually work out. We work out the total frequency, and this column here represents the total number of books themselves. So this is, this would answer question one. So let's see, two plus six plus 15 plus 24 plus 35 plus 24 plus 21. That is 127 books. And just for completion's sake, I'll add up the numbers of frequencies as well. 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3. That is 30. We'll use these numbers again later on. So, But the answer for question C part 1 is simply 127. Now... C part two, the mean number of books per bag. Now, to work out the mean, there's a particular formula you use when you have tables like this. And 
it is given as the sum of x times f divided by the sum of f. So you have the total number of books divided by the total frequency of which they occur. So that would be, in our case, these two numbers here that we just worked out, 127 divided by 30, which gives you exactly 4.23. Okay, so moving on to part D, the last question. Determine the probability that a student chosen at random has less than four books in his or her bag. So D is a probability question. So to answer that, you have to look at your table and you have to assess the frequency that occurs before four. So that would be two plus three plus five. So that refers to less than four books. So that frequency is, is 10. Now your probability is the number of successful trials divided by the total number of trials conducted. In other words, we want our successful trials would be this number 10 because it represents the number of books in the bag which is less than four over the total number of conducted trials which is actually total frequency so our probability for this case is 10 out of 30 and here you have it a pretty simple statistics and probability question it wasn't too challenging i hope this video is useful and if you care to see more videos like this you can please visit me at cxctutor.org thank you for watching